Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses Gemini playthrough using ritual creatures basically only. Um, ritual summon monsters to attack. Um, definitely not the easiest way to go through the game. Um, definitely a challenge playthrough. Um, after this, I think we're going to play through Warriors or something. Something preferably kind of easy. So I'm going to duplicate Dark Elf and Gaia since I want them badly. Oh, Dark Elf should already be leveled, so I only really need to do this for Gaia. And I drew it off the top? Ooh, my lucky day. Um, so you guys know the drill. This is how you duplicate cards. Um, I'm gonna actually just... Press buttons here. Speed up. Maybe water harmonics can actually do a little bit more. Yeah, it's already a first lieutenant. It doesn't need this. Whatever, might as well just max out the experience we're getting, right? Um, I'll be right back when I've passed down enough turns. Okay, this is way more than enough. I just kind of put on turbo on the start button and just looked away for a bit. So. Definitely a strategy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build the deck. Ooh. That'll probably end up being a leader for a bit. Um, doesn't matter what I put in. Um, we can see power-up cards here. Um... So it takes all the Blackluster Soldier takes all the female car equips. So that's why I want to use both of them in the same deck. Um, now we just go here, pass really quick. Okay, got one. Again. Okay. So we got ourselves the three dark elves. Go and build our deck, take that out. Um, Gaia is not really going to be used immediately, but we might as well get three of them. because we will be using him. Um, this is also a way to farm three in a row if you're um, so inclined. I would recommend Insect Death Deck Leader first so that you can have the, all of the slot arrows to make it easier. Okay. Just uh, put. This is deck leader because it's better than anything else. We don't need these anymore. So I think that's what we're gonna do for the dark elves. Um, we don't need Horn of the Unicorn. I mean, it does work on Cosmic Games, so... I guess we can leave it in. Oh, 
Okay, so we need to go get another win, and then we can go get a Black Cluster Ritual from Reincarnations. Okay, so win or lose, we get another reincarnation from this. Um, this guy is going to be kind of annoying, and he's always pretty annoying. Um, we don't really have white game cards, so this slowish style is going to kind of suck. Um, but we did start with an ancient tree, which will alleviate most of our problems because that gets rid of like nine cards from his deck that are super broken. We don't have to deal with gravity binds, mirror forces, um, or Gorgon's eyes. So that's nice. But we do have to deal with Ryriokus. <laughs> and this man can still tremendous fire me. I'm probably not going to ever play this um, Hourglass of Courage now because of this. Um, I don't think this turtle oath is going to work out. Also, we kind of have to play around just dessert, so I can't go over six cards played. Oh, we need to get rid of the dancing elf in the deck, too. Yeah, that's not good. Trying to keep down my card count, trying to get rid of cards. Well, that's there's the ritual. We'll probably want to put right here. So I need Queen of Autumn Leaves. Uh, one nice thing about Ancient Tree is it doesn't have that annoying animation that Royal Decree does, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Beam. Please don't just desert me, bro. Probably deserve it, but Oh, he also has change of heart that I have to play around too. Queen of Autumn Leaves, please. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't want to use that one, so I'm going to use this. Then Ritual Summon this here.
My goal is to basically just one-shot this guy. Or two-shot him or something. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh well, he doesn't have a change of heart, right? If he does, he doesn't use it correct. Hey, he doesn't have it. Okay, so that's 2800 damage, and he definitely doesn't have um, change of heart, so we're not going to play around it. Just face up defense, something that is super weak. Let's see, 4500 Curse of Dragon. But that, however, is a Komori Dragon, which I can just get over and win the game over. Hopefully he doesn't play any card that wins the duel right here, and those do not win. So, we win. That's a beast goal. Whew. Well, there go two of the hardest opponents we were going to have to deal with in this playthrough. They're both in the top five. Yugi into this guy. Hey, uh, my turtle got demoted. Um, Curse of Dragon is technically a ritual creature. It and I think Komori and stuff, but... Not terribly worried about going for dragon rituals because they're not great. Um, I mean, Trihorn's not a bad card, um, and Serpent Knight Dragon's awful. Like, don't get me wrong, that card's terrible. But yeah, Trihorn's just not very good. Okay, so, gotten through one side of the game. Uh, one of the main things that we just did is made it so that if we have to farm, we're going to have a lot harder time farming. Um, Rex is probably going to be annoying because he's super quick. And he can play pretty aggressively. Um, that thing where there isn't Labyrinth terrain on the field is actually a problem for us. In most decks, it's a hindrance um for this deck it's been helping us quite a bit since it slows down the pace of the game and ritual cards have a very slow paced game plan okay so now that we've saved I'm going to be right back and be at the start of the next side. Okay, we're back. Okay, so first things first, it's time for reincarnation. Um, and I want the Black Luster Ritual, so that's what we're going for. So I'll be right back again. 
Okay, we got ourselves a black cluster ritual. I'm not even going to express how long that took because um, I don't want to admit it to myself. Okay, so put in the black cluster ritual. Um, now we need three guys, um, and now we need like seven monsters that are 1500 or less attack. Go to the bottom of the attack pool. Um, I mean, I could just use dancing elves. They're cheap. I mean, clean stubble's not terrible. Cards with good effects, maybe? I mean, I guess we can just do that and not really use them for the fusions, but if we have to, we can fuse them to do the other ritual. It'll get a little bit easier once we have um, more Black Buster rituals, but for now... That's that. Um, I think I'm just gonna do Rex today because that reincarnation took way longer than I wanted it to. Rex, this being aggressive thing is not okay. Um, because he just fused out of Brachia Ray this turn one. And probably a Mega Zowler turn two. Yep. Well, if I draw a Princess of Suru guy, we're good. Or Surugi? Okay, he went to the side. Perfect. So the biggest problem with this kind of thing, this challenge, is your opponent gets to do whatever the hell they want for several turns. Oh, I didn't take out Turtle Oak. Hee <laughs> hee. There's my Princess of Sewer guy. Whee! Flip this face up and move it forward. So maybe I can get him to attack it. it looks like he's gonna come attack it. So it would be nice if I could, like, give most of the, um, most of the cards. Really? You didn't attack the Hourglass of Courage, sir? We're gonna do this. Uh... 
I'm not really going after the Black Cluster Ritual this game. My opponent is about to make a very big mistake. This Cosmic Queen is thick, with like 10 Cs. Nice. Okay. Let's go remember to actually take that card out of my deck. Um, Pop the Trick wouldn't be a terrible card to put in, actually. Um, for these low um, fusions, because Pop the Trick has a really beneficial effect, actually. I could definitely put it in over this um, turtle oath that's never going to see play. So two more wins and then we can get ourselves another Black Luster Ritual and then we'll actually be able to use Black Luster Soldier a bit. Um, Time to make this another excruciating long, long video. Because Bones is probably going to just dark hole us or something, and we're not going to be happy about it. Um, we do get to go to the right, though, which will be nice. Um, he played a monster to start with, though. That's good. I'm glad his AI is so predictable. He hard telegraphs what he's doing. Well, I don't really have to worry about dark holes now. He is very far ahead on board. Although, the AI does love to use its twisting nether when it's really far ahead on board, apparently. Well, I lost a Cosmo Queen's Prayer. Probably don't need Curtain of the Dark Ones, so... But that's one of his dark holes down. And I'm surprised he played it because he had two strong monsters on the field. So my two spell and traps that he didn't know were spell and traps. But, you know. I honestly don't expect him to dark pull me again very soon, so... Okay. Oh, that's okay. Well, he only has one left. Um... This card doesn't really matter, but... Worst case, it's a Dark Hole target. Um, I'm going to actually play a single equip on this Dark Elf, just to maybe make it so that he doesn't um, attack it. I hope my leader is a high enough rank to get this hidden card.
Pager should be high enough rank, right? I might end up making a Blackluster Soldier here. I have two-thirds of the ritual already. Just missing the Gaia, which is something that I'm not... I'm surprised to say that I'm missing. First things first, let's see. Hey, Temple of Skulls, let's go. Um, we're gonna have to just back away slowly. Although, if he dark holes again, that would be great. This would be great timing for another dark hole. That is a pumpkin. That card is a Stellar Trap, probably. Or it's a Cyberstein. The card he's sending towards me. That was five monsters, right? Yeah, I think that was five. Okay. Okay, we have a Gaia. That did not take the ancient tree like I wanted it to. Do I have two Suru guys in my graveyard now? One, two. Okay. I can only summon one more Cos one Cosmo Queen now. Oh, those are only four monsters. Okay, we can kill that. It's good. What is the oh it's a Cybersaurus? Terrifying. Well, I have to deal with that. Gonna take the 200 damage. To deal that to him. Okay. Hun only has three monsters, so. Unfortunately, I have to deal with traps now.
He should charge me now that he doesn't see a creature that's super strong there, and I'll give him a Cosmic Queen, or an Hourglass of Courage to hit. Just gonna be honest, I'd much rather get the dark terrain right there than deal with really anything else, so. This is a ton of damage though. But I don't have anything else I can really do this game to make myself stronger, so I gotta win with what I have. Um, Hourglass of Courage is never going to get used. Um, oh, this Spring of Rebirth can move the deck too. Okay. Please fuse. Perfect. Okay, I know this isn't a trap because he fused it, so this should be game. And look at all that pumpkin scaling. It amounted to nothing. Nothing I really want. I mean, there's a whole bunch of good cards in here. But nothing that I actually want since I've done so much dueling and stuff to, for this playthrough so far. Although our win rate's starting to look pretty respectable. Go ahead and make one edit one edit to our deck and then that'll be it for today. Um we're gonna take out Spring of Rebirth for Temple of Skulls. So that'll be it for today. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.